हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव शो केस यू दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ डिक्शनरी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी लेवरेजिंग लिटिल बिट मोर डीपर दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फील्ड लाइक लेट से इफ वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ चॉइसेस वैल्यू राइट ड्रॉप डाउन हाउ वी कैन डू सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ रेफरेंस वैल्यू विच विल रेफरेंस टू द अदर टेबल हाउ वी कैन डू सो right so there are different type of uh, field which we can create in service now so you should know which all types are already available out of the box so whenever your client is asking to have a, a field called let's say they are asking for date and time so you should know that okay so there is one data type called date and time already present so we can create a dictionary for date and time so that it will take a date as well as the time right so in this video uh, i'm going to showcase you that how we can create a choice value and how we can create a reference field right so yeah let me navigate to the incident because we are taking an example of incident as of now so i'll be navigating to the incident page let me open all over here and i will go inside of incident and you know that how i will create a in a dictionary right so in previous video i have created one section called runjay so in this video uh, i'll be creating one uh, field choice uh, field and i will be placing that choice field uh, inside a uh, runjay section right fine so now let's first talk about the real world scenario that means what kind of requirement a client will give Uh, so that you can aware that means uh, how which type of field we have to create so let's say client is asking you to uh, have some uh, values okay and that is the um, not a, a dynamic value it's a let's say a four or five value they are having based on the um, selection uh, dip, that is a dependent value they are having so let's say take a example if client is saying if category is uh, hardware then we should have a uh, sub category it is already there uh, that based on the hardware sub category will populate so i'm just uh, just forget about this one because i'm going to create a new right so uh, based on the category they wanted to uh, have some options like uh, three or four options and they wanted to maintain in uh, service now right so what uh, need to be done for that so definitely we have to create a dictionary for that right and we have to make a dependent on the category right now same sub category is dependent on category so similar kind of concept we are also going to have it so how we are deciding whether we have to go for the um choice value or whether we have to go for the reference or how we are deciding so uh, think about the scenario if they are talking about no we are not going to have a, a kind of master data means data is not going to increase in future so uh, there is a less possibility to increase the uh, choices value on that case we can go for the drop down if they are telling okay no it could be uh, let's say n number of data it could be so today we have 100 tomorrow you might have a uh, uh, 200 so on that case definitely it's better to create a table and uh, store those value in the table and create a reference field uh, for that table you got it right so in which scenario you have to go for choice and in which scenario you have to go for the uh, reference field fine so how we can create a dictionary yeah we want to create a dictionary for the incident so i am already on the incident page so i'll be right clicking on the header and selecting a dictionary over here right i will leave this one and uh, i'll be clicking on new right and uh, here by default as you can see here uh, table got selected right so if you see here uh, table got selected and uh, here a type type is the important things guys over here that we have what kind of uh, dictionary or field which we are creating so type will define type is nothing but a data type i have already explained but i am explaining it again because it's a important one so if you can just uh, look how many types already present you can find 54 types are already present 
means it is almost all data types are present but on top of that if it is required to create a different our own custom data type that also service now is giving option to do so but i don't think so that will uh, come that is a rare scenario for me uh, as of now i have not got such scenario that uh, i have to create a different uh, data type and then i have to create a field right so here uh, in out of 54 uh, so for choices value we have a uh, uh, data type called choice fine so uh, for choices we have to um, as uh, you are creating a dictionary so you have to give the name of your field so let's say uh, subcategory 2 i'm just giving or uh, my subcategory something uh, it's up to you how you are giving these all i have already explained <coughs> what's the purpose of these uh, um, check boxes right now max length is uh, now not mandatory because we are going to create a choices not a, a string field if you are selecting a string field a string field means uh, alphanumeric character you can input it right if you want to go for the integer we have a specific called integer we can select it right so based on your need based on your uh, input uh, value you want to get inputted from your users uh, we have to select the type right now come over here uh, choice list uh, specification here what type of uh, um, we do we have a uh, uh, three or four options over here so let's say uh if we will select the drop down with none then by default this uh, none will select uh, selected this is the like uh, this is not the choice value if you are making a mandatory it will ask you to select and if you are selecting a drop down without a none means you have to uh, give the default value right you are telling that okay no by default we are not uh, asking you to display none means we must have to apply the default value we will see that how we can apply the default value it's very easy here is the default value whatever the choices value will be creating based on that you just input the uh, internal value we will see so first as of now i'm just going with the uh, drop down with none okay and i will right click and save so that we will be on the same page right so now a dictionary got created so first let's check uh, where got created and where it is placed right now I'm just opening a form again. Right, so now you can see here uh, subcategory uh, two already created over here, and uh, right now only having a none uh, options. Right, so what we can do, uh, we have to um, give some choices value right so uh, how can give the choices value so once you save this form then you can see here uh, you can see the related list called choices right so now here uh, we have to uh, give our choices value so let's say i'm just giving a option one okay and uh, internal value i'll be giving the same option one fine and the uh, sequence let's say i'll be giving a 10 and similar way i'm just creating a random one option two option two right let me create one more over here and uh, option three you have to give the exact uh, options which you will be creating for your client okay and the sequence which we want to maintain let's say uh, after option one we want to display our option two then we have to uh, give 10 20 and then we have to give the 30 it's a kind of order if you will giving a 15 let's say if i have given a, a 15 for option three then in second place option three will display right so now we have added you just refresh this no need to save right so if you will refresh it again this one this time choices value will appear right so you can see here now option one two and three it is just started appearing so that is not our requirement right our requirement is to base on the category we have to uh, display the subcategory over here right so first let's 
let's place this uh, sub category to inside uh, runj sections this is your form section right so you know that how to do right so go to configuration go to form layout you can go for design builder it's up to you right so uh, i used to do for the form layout so i will go to first i will remove from here and then i will click on runj it will ask me to save this yes i will save this and then i will from active here we want to add the subcategory which we have created just now fine so added the subcategory save this form now if you can see here so now uh, subcategory 2 uh, start appearing under this section fine so uh, if let let's say if i'm changing software nothing is happening all three options are displaying so now our requirement is if software uh, software is selected as a category then option one should display and if hardware is selected as a category then option two and three should display how we can do so definitely there is no coding required for this we have to do the configuration only so you have to go to the dictionary again for your uh, subcategory which we have created just now and here you can see uh, we have a, a related link called advanced view right so this link we have to create it uh, sorry if we have to click on this uh, advanced view so that a uh, little bit uh, extra functionality will uh, start appearing on this form so if you can see here uh, we will talk about the view in upcoming session that how we can apply our own view right but you can see here right now it is on this form it is applied uh, advanced view so under the advanced view we have a uh, now three options are already there so before that uh, in the default view this dependent value was not there right that's why we came to the advanced view because we want to make this field as a dependent based on the category fine so now uh, dependent field we have right so uh, use dependent field over here fine and dependent field uh, we have to select it basically so now uh, based on the category uh, we have to uh, based on the category we want to select uh, show the subcategory so we will be selecting a category over here so uh, look for the category yeah this is the one fine so dependent on field so now we have made this uh, our subcategory to dependent on categories right and the default value if you want to give it as a option one then you can just uh, give like this option one fine and now uh, use dynamic default value then if you uh, you can create it it's a kind of advanced level we will talk later that how we can use this uh, dynamic default value but uh, in any case if you want to auto populate a default value just pass on the default value this value you have to pass on not this one this might be different fine so now we have made it and first thing you have to do that uh, under the dependent uh, field section we have to click this box okay this one you have to make a checkbox and here you have to select your um, field on which you want to make this field as a dependent one now moving on so uh, the last thing which we have to do that uh, the dependent value so as i said uh, option one we want to display whenever software is selected now uh, here we have to select the we have to give the uh, what choices value of the categories so let's say category having a uh, this one let me go over here so based on the software so what is the internal value for uh, software so either you can just go here and right click and uh, show choice list okay or what we can do i will usually do i will right click over here you can also do fine and uh, i will do like this i will select this one and we pull mouse over here then it will give you the exact html code for that so for software this is the internal value okay i'm just copying it and here i'll be placing fine you make sure that you are giving an internal value of the categories so for a hardware uh, what is the internal value 
so hardware you can see here display value uh, hardware having a h capital right and in uh, internal value uh, system value hardware is having a small right so let me copy it and uh, for this two i will give the hardware fine and i will just save this form fine so once you click over here it will uh, saved okay no need to right click and save it again over here right so now what we can do we can just uh, refresh it fine so once we uh, refresh it uh, now we have made a dependent so uh, category one software okay still it is not working let me check what is what happened oh we have not saved it because uh, this one uh, this we have to save it right uh, <laughs> sorry guys because this is on the main form so if you are saving a related uh, a list one then you just click over here it will save but uh, this one it didn't save right so i will save this one fine so now um it is saved and now let's again refresh this form and we'll see this time fine so if you will see here now by default nothing this played over here because uh, based on uh, category it has to display so for inquiry and help we have not given any subcategory so it is not displaying anything over here so let's say we want we if we are selecting a software then option one should display right option one is displaying if i will select uh, hardware then option two and three should display it is displaying right this is what uh, the expectation if i'll select any network then it will not display anything fine so you hope you got it that how we can create a choice value and how you can make a dependent uh, choice value on the different field fine so uh, let's create one more uh, field that will be let's say uh, um, that will be your um, assignment just create a reference field pointing to the change request okay my uh, just create a field called my change and that um, field should point to your change request table okay fine thanks for watching uh, in next video we will see that uh, one more um, important uh, property of the dictionary that is called a dictionary override we will discuss in the uh, next video thank you thanks for watching if you have not liked and subscribed please do so thank you